I'll ask anyone in Roanoke's Grandin community and they'll have a story to share about the man they called their angel. James Tarpley died over the weekend. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett shows us how the legacy of the man who dedicated his life to Grandin Village is being remembered. He just loved the people on the street. And that's really all I can say where I'll start crying again. <laughs> Linda Stedman met James Tarpley when she moved into her bookstore in Grandin Village, Too Many Books, back in 1999. Somehow, all the empty boxes she had unpacked disappeared. She later found out Tarpley recycled them. He could affect so much change, and he had such an impact just by being kind. Co-op marketing manager John Bryant says Tarpley would always stop by the store looking for the best deals on cantaloupe or pears, and he was always there when you needed him. You didn't even have to ask. James meant so much to this community. Tarpley's friends tell me you could usually find him sitting on one of these benches here in the village. They're going to miss seeing his smiling face and hearing his stories. He'd say, come here a minute. And you'd sit down for at least 10 or 15 minutes and hear what James had, had seen or what he wanted to do and hear all the stories that he had. So I'll miss those conversations a lot. A Korean War veteran a selfless neighbor, and a friend to everyone in Grandin. I'm just, um, I'm glad he's in a happy place, and I'm glad he um, is with his fellow angels. An angel who's still watching over his village. In Roanoke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. We want to let you know tomorrow night at Oakey's Chapel in Roanoke, there will be a viewing from 5 to 7. The funeral will be Saturday at Heights Community Church in Grandin Village. That will be at 3.30.